Hey y'all, good morning. I told you that this robe was going to make another appearance. Let me stretch this out. Um, and so we're back with my robe and I'm just making breakfast. So I did a workout this morning. I went and ran this morning and so I'm hungry and kids are eating and I just wanna show you how I'm kind of making do with some leftovers that I had from the other day. So I've got some rice cauliflower that was already steamed. Um, I am using an egg, and I guess we can call this fried cauliflower rice, but it's in the morning, so I didn't really want to call it that. Anyway, I also have cheese. So I'm gonna be using cauliflower rice, um, Kobe Jack cheese, and an egg. I should grab another egg. I think I'll grab another egg. Hold on. By using two eggs, then I'm satisfying my one um, protein portion, one of them. So two large eggs is one red container, but obviously two eggs don't fit in the container. I'm gonna go ahead and take out my cauliflower rice. And this is a cilantro lime rice because I used it for, hey Faye, I used it for tacos the other day or a burrito bowl or whatever you wanna call it. So I am just gonna, and I need to make sure y'all can see this. I'm just gonna spoon this in here just to make sure I have enough. I could just dump the whole, I'm making a mess. I could just dump the whole thing in, but I am loving cauliflower rice. I don't know, I, did, I wasn't a cauliflower fan before about a year and a half ago, but now it has been a game changer. Um, I use it as a base to burrito bowls, and this is the first time I'm using it for um, breakfast. So I'm just gonna take, oh, I might as well just take the whole thing, right? It's a vegetable. There you go, it packs in nicely. Anyway, so there's that. I'm obviously gonna scramble my eggs and try not to make a mess. And the reason why I'm eating this is because I don't want the cauliflower rice to just sit for a while. I mean, I made it two days ago, I think, and so, I kind of have a three day rule in my refrigerator. Um, if I haven't eaten it in three days, it needs to either go in the freezer or go in the garbage. Uh, where's my, so it's gonna get eaten. It's gonna get eaten. And so I've got, I'm just, I'm just scrambling eggs. So just a little salt, a little pepper. So my kids learned how to scramble eggs the other day, so if they hear this, they may run in here and say that I'm leaving them out, but I'm not really leaving them out. I just really want to do this real quick, and they're eating their breakfast already. So, there's that. I'll sit that aside. And so now I'm going to portion. Yes, this is a really big bag of cheese. Um, I really like cheese. I'm not going to use all this cheese, obviously, but I'm just going to portion it. And I'm going to make a mess, because I always do. I was gonna make a mess. And I'm gonna use the whole thing because I like cheese. And the way my nutrition program is set up, as long as I can fit the cheese in here, I can have it. And it ends up being a lot more cheese than I think and a lot more than most people think. You can also use this particular container for like your avocado your guacamole. I'm not an avocado fan, so you won't see me packing this with guacamole or avocado. You will see me packing it with cheese. So there's my portion. All right, so now that I've prepared this, I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna use a little bit of avocado oil. Um, good morning, good morning, good morning. If you are just joining me, I am not making anything spectacular. I'm just using my cauliflower rice and putting some eggs in it and some cheese. So I guess you can call it fried cauliflower rice, but I don't know what to call it. You can call it whatever you like. Anyway, I'm using avocado oil. <laughs> no, I'm not making steak and eggs. I don't have. No, I froze the steak. So I made steak for tacos and fajitas or whatever the other day. I froze it yesterday because I remember I have a three day rule when it comes to food. Um, so anyway, let me see, I guess, I guess you can see this. I'm only gonna use a little bit, because it's really not a lot. Maybe that was a teaspoon, I don't know. I'm eyeballing it right now. I should have measured it. I'm gonna do this on kind of medium high. 
because the cauliflower rice is already um, it's already cooked I steamed it the other day I don't want to cook it in here too long I really just want to um, kind of warm it up I just want to warm it up and then I'll dump the eggs in there too and it'll all get all nice and and then, then I'll put the cheese in there so um, just know if you are getting bored with your breakfast that is one of the things that people like some of my clients go oh I love eating X Y and Z for breakfast I eat two hard-boiled eggs and some oatmeal and whatever for breakfast and then I tell them so when are you gonna get bored with that if that's a boring breakfast to me if that's what you like and you're good with it then rock on but I get a little bored and so I need to switch things up just a little so um, this is just something that you may want to use um, if you have these things and you want to eat something real quick and you really want to get some vegetables in at the beginning of your day this is an easy way to do it um, because cauliflower tastes like nothing so whatever you have just what you, you know that's just what it tastes like so let me get a spoon and i'm just gonna dunk this in Let's see. sounds good right and you can obviously add like garlic you can add onions you can add peppers you can add whatever you want to this i am not because i don't really have those things on hand right now um I don't really like onions. I, I keep peppers if I'm cooking something specifically, so I don't have any of those. So I'm just going to stir this around for a couple minutes. Again, I'm just doing this to heat it up. It's already cooked. I've already steamed it. Um, and as you can see, this actually is a lot of cauliflower rice. One portion um, ends up being quite a bit, but you'll like it. I think you'll eat it. It's light. So you're not going to get that kind of bloated feeling when you um, you won't get the bloated feeling when you um, when you're done eating. You know, you won't be super tired, sluggish. Although since everybody's stuck in the house, I guess it doesn't make a difference. Um, okay. So I'm going to put that in, and I think kind of like when I make I'm just going to leave a hole. I left a hole. Good morning. Um, I, I love cauliflower fried rice. It's delicious. So I make it at least, you know, every other week or so. And I usually do it when I'm, again, if I've made some sort of meat and I want to um, kind of get rid of it. Like I've got to eat it or freeze it or get rid of it. So I'm going to do my eggs real quick again, scramble them up, drop them in the middle. Super simple, because I just, I literally thought of this a few minutes ago while I was, you know, you have the best thoughts when you're in the shower. Best thoughts happen when you're in the shower. I don't know if you guys can see this because I'm left-handed and I know the camera is right there, but I hope you can see this. I just have the egg in the middle and I'm scrambling that up and then I'll just put it all together. I'm scrambling it all together, all together, all together. It's obviously going to turn my cauliflower rice yellow. Now I could have added, um, I'll turn that down. I could have added um, coconut aminos, which I use in place of soy sauce. I have a son who is allergic to soy, so we use coconut aminos as a substitute. Um, and I could have used that. But again, I was just kind of going for the breakfast thing. Or I could have added sausage. I've got chicken breakfast sausage that I bought. And I can't remember if I froze it or if it's in my refrigerator. But again, I could have used that. You can use anything that you want. Um, like I may add some bacon bits to this. I probably won't. Now that it's already almost done. Just have to let it go. And now, my favorite. It's the cheese. And I'm just going to dump it in here. And sprinkle it around and this is obviously not going to take long so by the time the cheese gets in and melts the eggs should be cooked and if you're looking for like a calorie content i mean a quarter cup of cheese is 100 calories um two eggs a couple hundred calories well 
might be a little less than 200 calories. Cauliflower rice is probably 20 calories for um, a cup, per cup. So I'm gonna show this to you. So that's what it looks like. I'm gonna let it cook for a little while longer just to make sure, and this is just to make sure that all of the egg is scrambled because it's been kind of scrambled in with the, um, with the um, cauliflower. Sometimes it's hard to tell, but I think it's about that. So let me grab and get a bowl, a bowl for this. Okay, got a bowl. I'm gonna get my junk out of the way. Clean up as you go, you guys. That's something my mom taught me. Clean up as you go. I listen. Mom, see, I do listen sometimes. Good morning, good morning. If you are just joining me, I made what I guess is fried cauliflower rice, or cauliflower fried rice, but I added egg, I added two eggs and cheese. So it's more, for me, it's gonna be a breakfast dish, and this is actually a lot. Can you see that? It's a lot. Um, will I eat it all? Maybe, I'm kinda hungry, but we'll see. And what I might do, you can add, if you wanna add accessories, which is what I like to call them. Um, you wanna add like hot sauce, if you're a hot sauce fan, add a little bit of that, whatever you like on your eggs. I'm gonna add a little honey mustard because I like honey mustard, um, but I'll add a little bit, maybe a tablespoon, teaspoon. Um, and so this is what I'm having for breakfast. It's gonna be delicious. And again, if you wanted to add any vegetables, right? So if you want to add spinach to that, you could, you know, chopped spinach. If you wanted to add peppers, you could. If you wanted to add um, anything, little bacon bits, little breakfast sausage, you can add any of that if you want to. This is just kind of what I have and I'm hungry, so I want to be quick about it. And um, so that's what I'm having for breakfast. So if you, thank you for watching me in my bathrobe <laughs> make breakfast. Um, if you liked it, please share it with your friends. Um, this isn't a real recipe, but I guess I could, I'll drop something in the comments. Um, just kind of as a go by for you to, if you want to do something like this. Anyway, um, yeah, thank you for watching. I'll talk to y'all later.